Hello everyone, this is Dr. Manal Abdul. I'll be glad to be with you today in a new video. Uh, this video, I will answer your questions about how to create viewports, how to set the scale, how to print out, uh, and how to work with big projects. Um, for today, I'm gonna use uh, the floor sample. This is from Autodesk. Uh, let's see how we uh, open this. Uh, from the start, uh, you go to open and explore sample drawings. Uh, you go to uh, database connectivity and this is the floor sample plan so uh, just open it and uh, today in this uh, video i will show you how to create um, new uh, views how to work with large uh, projects like uh, creating a viewport configuration uh, how to set up uh, the layout uh, to create a viewport uh, how to hide the borders and also how to set fields to show the scales and how to make them update automatically uh, so let's get started In this floor sample, you will notice that it's a large uh, building. Uh, we do have several offices. Here we have Office 6120, 6122, and so on. We do have uh, stairs. We have um, several offices on the other side. We have the main entrance. We have balconies. Sometimes uh, with big projects, you need to create views uh, to help you work efficiently and uh, access all the building at the same time from different views. So let's start with creating views. At the beginning, we click on the view tab and uh, we click on a new view. By clicking on uh, the new view, you give a name. For example, Office uh, 6120. Uh, Okay, so if we need to create a view for the Office uh, 61120, uh, we give it a name, then we select, we click on uh, select, we zoom in uh, to the office that you want, and this is the Office uh, 120. We create a window around, and uh, when we're satisfied with that window, we click enter, then we click OK. We notice here from the unsaved that we do have uh, Office 120 created. If I click on that, it will take me right away to Office 120. Even if I am outside, we can click on it again and it will take me right away to this office. Let's create some other views. Uh, I will create uh, a view for this stair, for example. A new view. And I'll make a, a stair, a north stair. Now, you click on select, you zoom in, and you select the window, then enter. So we do have uh, this stair, and as you notice here, we created two views. Let's uh, create one more uh, view to uh, the entrance. So new view, entrance, and select it. Then we uh, zoom in pan and select the entrance that we want then hit enter okay now we do have three views created uh, what i can do with this views first thing i recommend doing with a big project that we do have a viewport configuration i can uh, click on that and decide how many uh, windows that i need to work at the same time let's say that i need um, three left or three right so that will divide the screen to several windows uh, i'm gonna take one of them let's three right for example notice here that i have uh, three different views if i double click on the first one and click on uh, entrance that will take me to the entrance uh, double click inside the second i can go to the north stair if i click on that one i can go to the office so notice here that you can work at the same time uh, let's say that on this window um, i need to work with room 6125 and i need to do the same thing like 6120 or i can create more views if i want uh, i can work with 6024 
and open that just to um, compare and do the same let's say that I need to uh, draw something here I can draw and still have access to other parts of the drawing so uh, creating a views will give you uh, easy access to the view instead of zooming and panning you can with one click access uh, the part that you want and uh, uh, arrange your drawing you can uh, divide with viewport configuration to how many parts when you finish you can always make single and get back to uh, your screen now this is one thing that i always recommend with a view uh, what else we can do with this named views um when when you print when you go to the layout view i'm gonna delete that and here um i will uh, go to layout and uh, see that we do have several options to create uh the layout viewport one of these options is insert view i go to insert view and you see all the views that you created uh, for example if i need uh, the entrance i click on it and as you see here it will um, just paste it as a viewport into your layout if i need another one let me get the uh, north stair i'll get this stair now uh, let me talk a little bit about scaling this and how to add field with the scale as well. So creating a viewport is very important in the layout. And I'm going to go to uh, layout with the insert views or rectangular or other uh, ways that you can uh, insert a viewport as you see here with the rectangular and we do have several other options. But let me now talk about this viewport from insert views. Notice that if I click on uh, this viewport that I inserted, you look down, it is locked. Okay, so it is locked because it's uh, an end view and you cannot uh, change the scale. However, if you click on uh, this one that we just created with the rectangular viewport, it is not locked and you can uh, change you can log in and change inside it if you double click inside the viewport and you can uh, change it uh, i can lock it after i finish okay so always you can lock after you scale and you can unlock similar to that if you uh, click on that viewport it is locked already but you can unlock it if you want to change that scale so you click again on the lock and you notice now that you can change that scale uh, the scale now is 1 to 16. as you know in the model space we always draw one to one we don't scale if something is uh, 100 feet we draw it 100 feet if something 1000 feet we draw it 1000 feet so uh, we don't scale on the model but we scale on the paper because the paper size is small we cannot draw and fit everything in the paper so we need to uh, scale it make it smaller uh, if you choose 1 to 100 that means if something 100 feet on the model space in real uh, that will make it one foot on the paper space that means we are making this smaller 100 times so we need to divide the number by this scale if i click on 100 now um, you notice that the scale changed we can uh, arrange this viewport you can make it smaller or larger and you can lock it at the end just to uh, um, do not uh, accidentally uh, change it i recommend always to lock it uh, this stair is uh, 1 to 8 inches, but if you unlock, you can change that scale and you can make it, for example, 1 to 50. And uh, from this grips, you can always uh, change uh, the view and you can, by double click inside, you can uh, pan and zoom. And now be careful here, you didn't change uh, the scale, it's still 1. 50 then we can lock it so we don't accidentally change that scale uh, this is scale is random scale right now and we can also unlock it if we need to change that scale let's make it uh, 100 now it is bigger and um, 
if we need to um, uh, make it different scales we can just make that for example 120 and that will make it bigger so 120 is bigger because we are uh, making the actual size smaller 20 times but 100 um, is smaller here because we are making the actual size smaller by 100 so we are dividing by 100 the actual length or the actual dimensions uh, now we do have this i always recommend scaling then uh, locking the viewport so you don't accidentally um, change the scale now um, let's say that i need to uh, delete one of the viewport what you can do select it hit the delete button and it is deleted now uh, viewports um, need a scale let me put here a scale using field you can type it manually using annotate uh, but I will show you here how to use field and insert the scale. First, we need to go to the annotate tab and set up uh, the text. So we go to text style. Uh, then you need to uh, assign uh, a text to that. You can create a new and uh, put uh, the name like um, uh, floor plan and then OK then this is the one that we are uh, using you can set up uh, let's make it uh, simplex and i'm gonna make that 0 0.2 the height and apply close and now i see on the top that this is the style that i created and we do have several styles there but i pick that one now what I will do, insert, go to the insert tab and go to field, or you can type it on the command line, field. Click on that, uh, click on object from um, the pull down menu, object, then click on object again. From this screen here, select object, you select the viewport. Now you see that you got several options that you can do with this viewport. I will select custom scale and use a scale name you see here the preview that this is 1 to 100 this is a preview now i'll pick ok and place it let me do that for the other one again from the insert tab field make sure it is object from the top then object again select from this little screen here select now custom scale Use a scale name, it is on the top as a preview, and then OK, and we can just place it. You notice now it is 1 to 100, and this is 1 to 50. What will happen if I change the scale here? If I change the scale, um, I'm gonna show you here something. I will click on that, unlock it, make that scale 1 to 40. Now it's bigger because I'm just uh, make it 1 to 40 which is uh, smaller 40 times not uh, 100 times so this is the part that I want let's say that I need uh, this door here and then I will lock it and this is 1 to 40 notice now it is not changing but since it's a field it should automatically change uh, what we need to do is uh, regenerate so re you type re and hit enter then it is 140 so we need to regenerate let's do the same thing here if we need to change that one uh, the scale we need to unlock first then uh, 1 to 50 let's make that one 200 now we have um, that smaller the stair because we made it a smaller 100 times uh, then let's lock it okay enter it is 1 to 100 so if you click enter it will regenerate but uh, if it's not so you uh, type re remember re to regenerate and you will update it automatically uh, now as you see here we do have the uh, the the border um, in most cases we need to have these borders um, hidden so what we can do is to create a viewport layer from the home 
you go to layer properties and we do have here on the top uh, a new layer uh, v, uh, v frozen in all viewports so we can create a new layer uh, view port okay uh, let's unfreeze it for now let's show it clicking that one and um, I'm gonna make it active and I will move this viewport to uh, the viewport layer okay now the viewports are on the viewport layer now what I will do is hide it see now that it is hidden on the layout let's say that I um, arranged the viewports put the scale and everything now is uh, ready and I need to print out uh, to print out uh, first, we can uh, print out several ways and um, by uh, right click on the uh, layout and accessing the page setup manager. And this is the layout one. You can modify if you need to modify the paper size. Now the paper size is NC Expand A, which is uh, 8.50 times 11 inches. Uh, if you need to modify that size, you can modify from here um we need uh the uh, what to plot here let's make the layout uh, the scale one to one and pick up the units should be correct and uh, this drawing by uh, is architectural so it is inches and uh, now you need to set up the plotter um if you do have a physical plotter like i do have uh, this uh, printer or plotter ready i can choose it otherwise you can choose uh, print to pdf and uh, in this case you can uh, go down uh, drawing with dwg to pdf you can choose that to make it pdf uh, what else we have here uh, plot objects line weights if you do have uh, line weights set up uh, with thickness on the layers you can choose that if you have any transparency you can plot to transparency uh, plot with the styles uh, and a paper space class if you need to hide paper space objects you can hide it but this is the main thing so also you can uh, flip the paper this way uh, using portrait or landscape uh, on the top you can choose uh, a CAD STB or if you need uh, only white and uh, black like the gray uh, scale you can use the monochrome uh like this let's uh, make the first option like a cat stb and um, then preview now notice that you do have uh, this scale and uh, everything set up you can exit uh, close that and hit ok when you hit ok uh, then close so we set up uh this this one and also we can print from the top you see now everything is set up like uh, the way we did okay let's preview exit and now we can um, click okay and since it's a pdf i'm gonna save that floor plan sample and choose the desktop then save and it will be saved on the desktop then you got uh, the plot and publish job complete then click uh, pre preview it will uh, open as a pdf that you can uh, just uh, see it this way if you have a physical uh, printer you can print it right away to your printer um, thank you for watching i hope that is helpful looking forward to working with you again uh, in future videos, Dr. Abdul.